Your shoe is a representation of, of who you are through and through. Crossover, fires away. Wow! Another three from Curry. Curry way downtown. Bang! Steph is doing everything. I always wanted to know what it'd be like to have your own, you know, your name on your shoe, your logo, whatever it was, be able to create different colorways. In my head, sometimes you take, you know, somebody else's shoe and act like it was yours. But to have my own now is pretty crazy. And when you signed with Under Armour in 2013, part of the deal, of course, was they guaranteed you a signature shoe. Just what were the starting points in terms of laying the foundation for what your series was going to represent? I mean, that was obviously one of the draws to, you know, joining UA at the time was to build something, you know, with my own fingerprint DNA on it and, you know, kind of control the, the growth of a category within basketball that there's a lot of upside, a lot of opportunity there. And when you pick up the Curry One, just what comes back to mind in terms of the, the themes, the stories, the colors you guys told? When you look at the Curry One, it's something I hadn't really seen before. You got the dimples in the side on the upper. You, know, you got the, the charge foam on the bottom, the micro G. The first time you've seen the, the SC and the 30 you know, logo. And just knowing like there were opportunities to put certain colors and themes together that were you know, close to my heart and celebrate major milestones throughout that year, major moments. Uh, case in point, the Splash Party Curry one. The birthday colorway that I actually got in trouble for uh, back when you couldn't wear the chrome accents on the shoe because I don't know why, but I got in trouble for these a couple times. I think one time I brought them back and I didn't really care if I got in trouble, they were just cold, so I wore them anyway. But um, it's a special shoe that at the time for me was, you know, my my uh, splash into the, into the uh, signature shoe game. And when you went from the one to the two, what was kind of new and improved from the one to the to the second shoe there? The ability to take some of the great technology that UA had and some of the learnings I had of you know wearing the one to the two. So we obviously brought back the, the charge foam, kind of elevating the upper a little bit to make it a little bit more forgiving, a little bit fresher, especially right out the box that you could wear and not have to break it in as much. And then also with the second signature shoe, the, the iron sharpens iron was a big theme for that model. How would you kind of describe how that mantra relates to how you've always practiced and prepared? Yeah, the iron sharpens iron right here, Curry 2. There's a uh, biblical reference, you know, the mantra that you know, nothing that I do and nothing that anybody does special in this world, you, you, you do on your own. Um, but the, the ability to be around you know, people that can uplift you, encourage you, and bring the best out of you and what you can do for them, going through some really hard times um, and trying to persevere through it all. He's just like, I got it like that. There is a different energy to this man's game. I have a lot to accomplish. I don't have anything to prove. And of course, I remember on MLK Day, you debuted that special P you're holding for President Barack Obama. Just what, what stood out about the details of that? Like how memorable was that day in that shoe for you? Anytime you can you know, pay homage and respect to, for me, what President Barack Obama stands for, the inspiration he, he gave our country, uh, his presidency and the progress that we made during those eight years, it's kind of surreal still to this day. I got the presidential seal in here at 44 in the tone, like, this is classic right here. So this is a, definitely a great memory and something that uh, you can just look at and smile about knowing what it represents. And then you had a surprise that same season and you debuted the Curry Fours at the 2017 finals when nobody was expecting it. What do you remember about that debut? I remember running out of the tunnel at Oracle uh, for my pregame shooting time before game one at home. And uh, I usually have that moment where you know, I run out on the court and go to our home bench, and uh, that's where I kind of lace up my, my, my shoes. You know, I was wearing the threes all year, and then the three zeros during the playoffs, and then you come out in the, four, in, in the fours during, you know, the finals of game one. It was that classic crispy, you know, white with a little gold accents. And I just remember the, the arena was just on fire. Um, and I walk out, put my foot on the, on the bench, and there's a there's a lot of kind of humming and, and uh, whispers going on around me, around, you know, what, what's he wearing? Like, what is that? And it was a four as a debut, and obviously I played pretty well that, that series. We won. 
You know, it's kind of an iconic moment. There it is, redemption for Golden State. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. The Warriors are NBA champions again. And just how much different was that design from where you guys were at in the past? And how did that kind of sleekness, you know, how, how much of a difference in an achievement would you say that was in terms of it just advancing the series? It gives you that, that Taylor fit that, you know, helps you feel locked in, but also comfortable and, and kind of hugs your foot. A lot of people's favorites and something that was really, really classic because of the way we, we introduced it to the world, you know, game one of the finals and also just the way that it looks because it's such a kind of a, a unique and classic, you know, silhouette. And then when we get to the five the following year, to me, that was also unveiled at a unique time because it was on your 30th birthday. Just what do you remember about that window and, and just how you debuted it in March of that season? I mean, with the five uh, debuting around my 30th birthday and Looking forward to uh, taking that next step, obviously, towards the playoffs. It is, uh, it's a special time, because obviously we got the, the hit with the pie uh, symbol. My birthday's, you know, March 14th, 3.14, so it was a nice kind of discoverable there, and a little Easter egg within the Curry 5 shoe. You know, fine for me, the balance between that comfort that we had with the knit and the four, but I mean, you know, a little bit more court feel, which I've always thrived on. You know, there's a balance between ultimate cushion and uh, ultimate court feel that I try to find my sweet spot. And the five was, you know, our shot at trying to make that right. Never in my wildest dreams when we even, you know, partnered with Under Armour to, and, and got into the signature business that I know you know what the journey was going to look like shoot the shot is going in let me flex let me flex and they saying i'm the best let me check let me check i don't see no competition as it yet nah it's just win after win let me flex let me flex and then with the six that was basically the shoe you wore your last season in oakland at oracle just how important was it to kind of story tell around the decade you spent in oakland and and give a thanks to the town you know coming up with the uh the 10 in the town you know, theme and, and bringing, you know, a spotlight to, to Oakland and to the city that supported me for my first 10 years and just bringing all of those memories and that culture and the pride of, of Oakland. A shout out to Oakland and a love letter for my 10 years that, um, that I got to truly grow up in the game. And to me, I mean, that was a real sleek design. It also had the knit up or two. Just how much were you looking to make that shoe just more versatile on and off the floor as well? Yeah, I think from the four on, we, we we always had in mind in terms of the aesthetic, the silhouette and the design, you know, trying to make it as dynamic and versatile as possible since you can rock it in a lot of different settings, not just on the court. So that knit upper allows you to kind of play around with some of those looks. I think we have some pretty cool ways to color, you know, to design colorways with the blocking on this one. Even the, the shank that we have on the side with the SC on there, uh, you can make it translucent, you could, colored a lot of different ways and give it more of a di dynamic look that uh, that we were proud of. And then as we got into the seven the following season, you know, you had the big Sour Patch Kids collab that, you know, was one of the starting points for that shoe. Just what was the inspiration behind that pack and what'd you think about how vibrant the colorways were? This is loud, ain't it? Like to have this, you know, the Sour Patch, which everybody knows I have a sweet tooth. It has, you know, Hover on the on the top of the outsole, micro G on the bottom with a nice play-doh in between that gave it a nice core feel, a nice ride from heel to toe. Um, but even just the colorways and the aesthetic of it, I wore the uh, the two-tone Sour Patch Kids in in my my or the last game that we played against uh, Toronto when I came back from my injury. Curry got it to go, count it. First two since coming back and send him to the line. Curry, come and just gave me a lot of energy to put them on my, my feet and, and go out there and hoop. And uh, this is a sneaky one of my one of my favorite ones in the line, just with everything that we put into it. With the eight, you were also unveiling the entire new Curry brand and sort of a, a rebrand in a sense. You know, just thinking about what can we do next? What how can we you know take this to the new level? And that's when we were able to unveil curry brand the new logo now we have an opportunity to announce you know flow it's an outsole with no rubber it's all foam 
It's one of those shoes that, you know, the technology is, is different. You know, that first time you wear it, it's kind of a, a unique experience in terms of you don't hear any squeaks. It, it's silent, but it, it's so efficient with everything that it does. And of course, the nine also carried flow right over to it. And what were some of the other innovations and kind of inspirations you were trying to bring into the nine the following season? We wanted to bring back flow. Uh, we, we wanted to kind of play around with some different different ways that flow could be you know expressed it's more of a low than the eight was but it still stands on top of the amazing flow technology that that i love and then to be able to have some amazing milestones in this shoe and you know we prepared for obviously the 2974 here's curry for the record it's good and there it is stephen curry three-point king in the NBA. And a shoe that kind of was a curveball this year that came in as well was the, the Curry 4 Flotro. Just what was it like debuting that shoe and sort of remixing the past with the Curry 4 with the Flotro today? I don't know, it, it pops on the floor. Like you, no matter what jersey I'm wearing, you put these on and it just kind of, it stands out. And these shoes are undefeated in the playoffs, so, you know. I was gonna ask, did you know about that as you were playing in the playoffs, or was it until somebody brought it up that you realized you hadn't lost in those? It was after game four, or going into game five, somebody asked me did I know that we were undefeated when I wore these shoes, and I said no, I didn't know. And then it got my mind all thinking like, now that I know, do I need to switch it up? Because then they've all, they've jinxed the, uh, the perfection of the shoe, or I just keep rocking it knowing that as long as I'm rocking these, we're not gonna lose. And in game five, I kind of switched it up a little bit. I wore the Eat, Learn, Play uh, version of these shoes in the first half. I had to switch back into these at halftime, and uh, we ended up winning game five, and then I was a no-brainer that I was wearing these the whole game six. Three on the way. Good for Curry! Steph Curry from way downtown! Some Curry chaos here on the third. The Golden State Warriors once again are NBA champions in 2022. They stayed undefeated, so I appreciate them. And as we get to the Curry 10, you're, you're only the ninth active player in league history to have a signature series hit 10 models in a row. Just how's it feel to be in that select group? And to get to the 10 shoe, it's a lot of hard work in a lot of different areas and uh, definitely grateful and appreciative of the opportunity to keep, you know, sharing my story through my kicks. You know, the, you know, the fact that we've had, you know, so many highs within, you know, this journey, it, uh, it makes it even more special. It kind of, you know, gives you, you know, chills and goosebumps sometimes thinking about what you were, what you were feeling, thinking in those moments uh, while you're wearing each of these shoes. And then as you start to look ahead, just what's next and where do you see Curry Brand expanding and extending to? Never in my wildest dreams when we even, you know, partnered with Under Armour and, and, and got into the signature business that I know, you know, what the journey was going to look like. And uh, we want to keep leveling up. You know, I want to keep performing on the court at the highest level. I want to keep reiterating the signature shoes. Um, branching into golf, which is a huge passion of mine and a way to give kids and and golfers access uh, to my brand. And, you know, as you go through, you know, each season, you find new opportunities to find inspiration, to find motivation, you know, within the kicks, within the brand, and always, you know, with Curry Brand, finding ways to give back and create opportunity for the next generation to be able to participate in sports, be able to go to safe places to play, have proper equipment, proper coaching and programs. Uh, to find their best selves through sports. That's what Curry Brand is all about and continue to, to, uh, to change the game.